Hello students, welcome to this class. Yesterday class we have studied about Indian Electricity Act. So here I am telling in detail about the explaining in detail about that Indian Electricity Act. The main objective of Indian Electricity Act, Act is to replace the existing laws while preserving the core features other than those relating to the mandatory existence of state electricity board that is the whatever the rules and regulations which are formed early we have to preserve it and if any changes are there it can be made by preserving the early rules the core features of state electricity boards and the responsibility of state governments with regulatory license so that the responsibilities for state government should be there with regulations should also be followed and next one is to provide uh, next one is to provide introducing new concept like power trading open access etc power trading i already told you the trading of power from one uh, uh, generating company that is ntpc national thermal power corporation uh, which uh, which will be generating particular power in an uh, uh, other state like tamil nadu and it will be transmitting the power to the uh, consume state like us that is kerala and we and we what do you do we consume it in the peak hour actually in kochi and all the domestic power uh, needs is much more uh, higher in uh, uh, kochi nernakulam in that district so what happens they supply the uh, power in the peak period that is 6 pm to 9 pm okay so this one that is to provide for introducing new concept like power trading open access etc to remove the requirement of each state government to pass its own reform acts so that 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 is uh, the uh, that is the if the kerala state should not hinder in every act of the kcb so the kcb whatever the rules and regulations are there it should be preferred so that the political intervention should not be there and so that if it is there then the tamil nadu government can pass its own uh, act and uh, kerala government can also pass its own act so this should not be there so so to remove that one uh, the indian electricity act is being introduced to give every state government n flexibility to develop their own power sector in this in the manner they consider appropriate so that they can cons they can develop its own power sector but the regulation should be there in the st uh, uh, state regulatory authority so it mainly aims in promoting measures conductive uh, to the development of electricity industry promoting competitions and protecting the interest of consumers promoting competitions means we know that the adani group is already uh, establishing lots of solar power plants in the uh, in tamil nadu and also it is planning to establish more number of wind farms in the palakkad and also next one so this is of the promoting competition next one protecting the interest of consumers so interest of consumers the consumer should not be overly charged and it should be charged reasonably and and next one the providing electric supply to the all the areas all the areas means all the rural areas including all the areas where the tribal people is also there so in that areas also we should have to provide electricity and providing transparent policies on subsidies subsidies which is being given to the agriculture sector so it should be a transparent policy so it should not have any 
hidden taxes etc and next one constitution of central electricity authority and regulatory commission regulatory commission and central authority central electricity authority central electrical, uh, electrical authority it mainly sees that all the electrical authorities uh, state government electrical authorities is following the same rules and regulations and if they are abiding these rules and re regulations and the regulatory uh, commission is mainly uh, in charge of fixing the tariff in the each of the states okay so this is what about indian electricity act 2003 now we see uh, now we see about in the detail now now we see about national electric code nec 2011 scope and safety aspects applicable to low and medium domestic voltage installation so national electric code nec is formulated so that it can be uh, these rules can be flexible to the contractors that is the uh, and also the and it is uh, formulated primarily to elaborate the indian electricity rules to elaborate means to explain in detail about indian electricity rules so that it can be understood by the contractors and the person who are in operation of the particular electrical work i think you got this it is mainly formulated prime primarily to elaborate indian electricity rule that indian electricity rule na korchumuda endha paraya adhu elaborate ide adu korchumuda explain cheyidu contractors nokke info parayna reethile manasulavana reethile iduva that is main item and it serve as a comprehensive document in the electrical practice in india so it is uh, so it is a comprehensive document nalloru document aayittu serve edinde and it is basically the basically the main process it uh, unifies the practices procedures safety requirements practice adu edu reethilana practice cheyande so what are the procedures to be followed and the safety requirements idu moonu karyangalana procedures practices and safety requirements these three conditions should be what it is unified so it gives more in the more intentions intentions to the more importance to the safety aspects okay now we see this uh, nec code so nec role of nec uh, the role of NC is standardization work in the electrotechnical field was initiated in year 1950 through engineering division council of bureau of indian standards so bis through an ide initiate cheyidathu yeah. it covered fields like cables conductors fans motors and insulator etc soon it was realized that there was an urgent need to develop standards in all major electro technical fields for the development of the power sector in the country actually we have uh, first council is bureau of indian standards it is there then after that it is realized that there we need to have one uh, uh, want to develop a uh, realize urgent need to develop a standards in all major technical fields then after that national electrical code is an extensive collection of definitive guidelines for the safe installation of electrical wiring and equipments so nec is formulated so that it giving the guidelines for the safe installation of electrical wiring and equipment see i already told you it mainly giving a guidelines so guidelines means whatever the there in the indian electricity rule it will be giving in the elaborate and it mainly gives importance to the safety aspects okay so the uh, guidelines for the safe safe installation of electrical wiring and equipments the next one the nec is formulated primarily to elaborate indian electricity rules 
as a comprehensive in document to the electrical practices in India that I already explained. NEC unifies practice, procedures and safety requirements to be complied with the design, execution and inspection, maintenance of electrical uh, installation in the country. So, so why we go for the particular practice, procedure and safety so that it should compile with the design, execution and inspection, maintenance. One or particular electrical inspector, you know, industries are one, that inspector is doing. Ah, inspector is doing that. That is, that our I triple E, our I C rule, Indian electricity rule, no. Ah, rule through one ne ano. That is, that one particular switch board. You know, we will need that one switch board. Ah, this switch board should be 1.35 meter from the floor level. And also, your distribution board should be 1.5 meter from the floor level. So, these are all the rules and it should be followed for the safety aspect. There is a practice, procedures and safety requirements. So, you cannot connect your uh, switch board below the in the in the below the uh, in near to the floor. So, once if you connect near to the floor what happens while you are cleaning then what happens the water will uh, sprinkle on the switchboard and it may cause the short circuit next one nec is basically a completion completion document taking assistance from from detailed is specification already available that i already told you it takes the uh, and its main objective is to provide information in a consolidated form for, for the electrical engineers and contractors in the country who are engaged in the design and operation of electrical installation that i told you it, it gives only precise information collect consolidated uh, information so that the normal uh, engineer electrical engineers and contractors can follow this NEC rule okay next one scope of the national electric code the national electric code covers the following standard good practice for selection of various items of electrical equipments forming the part of power system standard good practice for selection so how can we select the particular uh, electrical equipment or we say we have want to select this switch here we need to select the switch gear we need to select the particular insulator so so what are the standards to be for, followed next one the recommendation consider, uh, concerning safety and related matter in the wiring of electrical installation of buildings or in, uh, industrial structures promoting capability between recommendation and those concerning the equipment installation so the second one mainly concerned about concerning the recommendation concerning the safety and related matters in the electrical wiring of in the wiring of electrical installation of the buildings i told you it mainly concerns about the safety aspects Ge next one general safety procedures and practices in electrical work so what are the general safety procedures to be followed so that the particular uh, person who is uh, doing electrical wiring should wear shoes and he should have he should have wear gloves in the hands and uh, he should not uh, touch the uh, conductor part in life that is uh, you should have to switch off the uh, uh, you, you should have to switch off the main board then you should have to go for working so these are all the safety uh, procedures and also we should have to put the fuses in the phase wire not in the neutral wire so these are all the general safety procedures and practices in electrical work and the additional precautions to be taken for the use of electrical equipment for special environment condition like explosive and active atmosphere so that this nec will also cover the uh, the scope of nec applies to also the uh, hazardous areas like mines and all so in that case we need to uh, consider what are the special cases that to be followed in the explosive and active atmosphere or minus room active atmosphere that means active atmosphere means or chemical industries okay or wiring conduct and next one 
you can see uh, next one you can see a, a scope of nec that is continued so nec applies to you can see hotels sport building and industrial permissions see nec applies to the all the industry all the it applies to the domestic it applies to the commercial it applies to the industrial it applies to the non industrial it applies to the agriculture field it applies to the mines it applies to the hazardous field it applies to the hospitals everywhere the nec is being applied okay so this is what the nec the the, the nec applies to the hotels sports buildings industrial premises temporary and permanent outdoor installation substations etc and it also impresses for agriculture premises installation in hazardous area solar pv installation standby generating plants medical establishments office and commercial buildings nec code does not apply over electrical aspects of lightning uh, protection of buildings only and not affects the lightning so it doesn't affect uh, covers the aspects of lightning protection and next one the code is not intended to system of distribution of energy to public and power generation and transmission for the subsystem so it is not this code nec code is not applied for the transmission systems so that is uh, intended for distribution of energy so electrical distribution systems the nec code is not being applied so there we need to have we need to see uh, and based upon the load demand only we need we need to supply this uh, power so there the nec code is not applied nec code does not cover uh, guidelines on the payment of the electrical work so it doesn't come uh, it doesn't have any uh, rules and regulations so that this payment should be made for the electrical work okay next one nec 2011 so nec 2011 in order to keep in pace with technological advancements and to incorporate the additional knowledge gained through the implementation of the code a continued program of review resulted the revise of nec was published in 2011 so nec uh, already there so national electric code the revised national electric code is being done in uh, revision is done in 2011 and this nec is uh, presented in eight chapter uh, eight parts the part one is general and common aspects it consists of safety and etc next one electrical installation in standby generating stations and substations third one electrical installation non industry the fourth one electrical inter- ins- installations in industry fifth one outdoor substation sixth one electrical installation in agriculture um agriculture premises and the seventh one electrical installation in hazardous area and the eighth part solar photovoltaic power system uh, solar photovoltaic power supply systems so i told you in early so it it whatever the area it uh, applies these are all being made in this aspects it is being made in this part so general and common electric construction standby and generating substation so you can see standby and edge and generating standby generating plants and substations so it is being made and so the electric construction non industrial building is also done electric construction in industrial building is also done outdoor substation is done agriculture premises hazardous area and solar photovoltaic cell solar photovoltaic power supply system okay so i says what about in this class and in the next class we study about electrical services in building classification of voltage standards and specification okay bye